Well, hello again. It is Daniel, and I am back. I am in New York City, one of my favorite cities to visit. Today, I'm staying at the Hyatt Grand Central. So it is actually located literally right on top of Grand Central Station, well, right next to it, I guess. So when you come out of Grand Central, you literally go right on the side, and the hotel is like right there. Uh, here's some shots of the lobby right when you come in. Uh, there was nobody playing the piano at the time that we were there, but apparently sometimes you could catch somebody playing the piano at home. Uh, beautiful lobby when you walk in, and uh, depending on the day and time that you check in, the lines uh, can be quite lengthy, as from what I was told. So plan on that. Um, if you do have Hyatt status, you can sometimes go in a separate line and a little bit faster of a check-in. They do have a breakfast buffet, uh, which I found to be a little bit on the pricey side, $45 a person. So I did actually not partake in that buffet at this time. Maybe next time I will, we'll have to see. Um, I was here just after the holidays. It was actually December 27th. And uh, look at all the gingerbread houses. Quite a, a setup that they had going on here. I'm actually happy that I caught it before they took it all down. New York scenes all created out of gingerbread. Radio City Music Hall, I'm actually going up there and see the Rockette show. How cool, right? I don't know whoever put this together, but it looks like they spend hours upon hours uh, doing this work and uh, I just think it's amazing have you visited New York before leave me a comment down below if you have and what's your favorite hotel to stay in if you like riding the uh, the subway as much as I do around the city and uh, maybe also some of your favorite sites to see in New York as well I was very sad to learn actually that apparently I don't know if this is true or not and uh, again leave me a comment down below if you know this but somebody told me that this hotel uh, the Grand Central Hyatt might be closing uh, I don't know if that's to do renovations or closing permanently but uh, they did um, tell me there was some gossip going on that this hotel might in fact be closing this year in 2024. Uh, again, I can't confirm or deny that. It was just speculation that I heard from a couple of the workers at the hotel. So I hope it is not actually true. Uh, from my first visit here, the hotel is, uh, is pretty great. You can't really beat the location. If you come off the train like I do, and you're literally right in Grand Central. I mean, it's a pretty stunning location. I've stayed at a couple of Hyatts now around New York and some other hotels as well. And uh, always looking for a great place to stay in New York City. So I love visiting New York and it's always good to find a good hotel that you can get around to easily. Shall we pop upstairs and check out the room? Let's do that. All right, so I'm gonna start with press and hold. Check out this camera of the hallway. So why would we need a camera of the hallway? <laughs> because we are in the presidential suite. This is 3405. I don't want to get in trouble for making too much noise in the hallway, but I feel like screaming right now. <laughs> we are in the presidential suite of the Hyatt at Grand Central Station in New York City. This feels larger than any apartment I've ever been in, in New York City. 
my jaw literally dropped when I opened the front door. I just, I'm blown away. So let's start out with the powder room. We come in right off the hallway. Of course, we got guest towels right here that you can, nice little artwork. And your water closet right in here. Again, I just want to pause at the chandelier there. Pretty amazing. This is your little entryway vestibule. And again, this is a private security camera that you push and hold to see out into the hallway uh, who might be there. So we don't want anyone else coming in. Let's lock the door pretty good. There we go. Yeah, we're staying the night. <laughs> All right, take a look at this. This is our corridor right here, our hallway. If we start out right in here, this is the primary bedroom. You have a beautiful desk right over in here. You have uh, some charging ports right behind this little guy. And of course, this is also a light. Check this out, just kind of tap that right on right there. Three three different types of lighting, I guess, depending on your mood, right? We have charging here, we got charging on the top. A little mirror in the room. Beautiful, nice king size bed. Nice wallpaper on the wall here. Of course it is embossed. You got more charging by the bed. Some bed storage right there. And this course on the other side as well. Here's your huge bed. Nice chase lounge. You got your TV in the bedroom. A huge bedroom. This was probably the size of my room that I had originally in the hotel. <laughs> There's a chair here, a couple of stains. Nothing too huge, but nice chair to just kind of sit at and relax. We got a huge closet over here. You have your ironing board, iron. I guess if you're staying a while, you could leave your keys, put some of your bills in. Maybe I might stay a little while. There's obviously a light in the closet, which is very nice. Got a luggage rack, there's a shoe rack here. I put one of my bags on it. Coming back out. As we said, we got our lounge. There is, uh, looks like temperature controls in a bunch of the rooms. And of course, yeah, there's a bunch of rooms. We'll get to that in a little bit. The room was warm when I arrived, it was uh, 80 degrees. So I did just put that on, it says 68, but it's not 68 yet. I'm hoping it cools off rather quickly. Here's our phone, alarm clock, and some more charging ports. A little bit of a scuff here. Looks like there was probably something in the wall before. Bed looks nice and comfy. Nice clean bed. Would have been nice, maybe some kind of, I don't know, throw blanket or something, but it's very nicely done. I love the lighting in the room. I like the headboard, nice design. If we go into primary bathroom, so we had the water closet for the guests. This is a nice little get ready area. You wanna call it makeup area, whatever you got ton of these um, little light switches here. We got off, bright, and soft. So it kind of gives us that look right there. Nice little chair to sit at. <coughs> Couple of drawers. It's nicely done. Coming into here. 
Check out this bathroom, huh? Oh my goodness. I was flabbergasted when I walked in here. Nice mirror, got your double sinks. Not real marble, but that is a nice holder. That's the design of it. I like the look of the faucets. Not really digging the small toiletries. I expect this in a regular room. I would have expected something a little bit more high level in the suite such as this and probably some glass instead of the plastic cups i find that a little tacky this is pretty nice nice beautiful stand-up rain shower here we got the wand control as well as from up above beautiful fixtures this is very nice and beautiful tub right here ready for soaking just make sure everything works looks good again I'm not really digging the toiletries but hopefully they're enough to make some bubbles I think I'm going to take a bath love the marble walls looks quite beautiful everything is very clean smells clean Coming back out. Of course, this was our water closet here. Had a nice little apparatus to clean yourself, which is nice. Would have been nice, a more sophisticated total toilet, but does the trick. I feel like the water is running in the toilet. I think it is. You can kind of hear it. Hmm. A little bit of a toilet leak there, I'll probably have to tell them. Let's come back out of the bathroom. Walk into this huge bedroom. Back into the hallway. So again, this was our vestibule where we entered right here. Bathroom is right in here. So if we turn around back to the hallway, Love this artwork here. Kind of has the feeling of like, you know, you're entering someone's house. I could totally see someone coming here and spending some time and entertaining some guests. I kind of feel sad that I don't have a lot of people to entertain here now. <laughs> Especially with all the space. The artwork is just beautiful. Of course, probably nice, some New York artwork, I'm thinking. Maybe this is upstate New York, I don't think so. Doesn't look like upstate New York, but maybe it could be, I don't know. If you know this artwork, please let me know. But maybe it's local artists here in New York. But I just feel like it would be nice to see some New York pictures. So this first living room, as you come in, I guess first living room, we'll call it the sitting room. How's that? This will be the sitting room. And then we have a living room somewhere else. There's actually some speakers here. Looks like the sound system could be quite serious. I don't want to bother the other guests in the hotel, but I love some good music. There's speakers up on the ceiling. This is amazing. I'm looking at this the first time that I'm showing you. Beautiful couch here. Nice to sit at. And check out the view from the couch, right? <laughs> Can you imagine? I, mean, I could probably fit like 50 people in this apartment. I don't even know what the capacity is, but I could fit a bunch of people in here. This is definitely a nice place to have a good party. Maybe New Year's, huh? But I'm not gonna be here for New Year's. Sadly, I'll tell you where I'll be later. Uh, nice sitting area, totally feel it. Let's take a look at the view. Kind of hard to see at night, huh? But I'm thinking I see the Chrysler building right over in there. We'll check that out in the morning. It's a little hard to see right now. But take a better look at this. This is incredible. Let's go into the kitchen. Yep, there's a kitchen. I mean, how could you have an apartment without a kitchen, right? <laughs> you can store a bunch of your stuff right here. 
probably chips I'm thinking, chips, salsa, popcorn would all go there. Sub-Zero refrigerator. You got your microwave, you have more storage under here. You can put a bunch of items. Everything looks nice and clean. Let's take a look inside this microwave. Yeah, very clean. Very nice. This is just amazing. <laughs> As I'm walking around, I'm just like pinching myself. What a room to spend the night in. I'm just sad it's only one night. You have tons of storage up in here. You could put all kinds of stuff. I do see a coffee maker right here. Keurig. There's a, looks like a hot water kettle. I brought these couple of waters up. And looks like uh, some coffee here. This is the only little packages here. This feels a little you know, lacking for me, I guess. And I don't even see cups for the coffee. I'm hoping there's some ceramic cups. Or at least a paper cup. I would love to have a coffee. And I don't see a cup yet. Obviously, you see the toaster right here. We have our ice bucket. Be kind of cool, I guess, if you had an apartment. I'm thinking with this ice bucket, if you had an ice maker that you don't even have to go out in the hallway for. But no. Looks like there is. No, I don't see the ice, ice storage. But looks like the ice maker is either not on or I don't know how to turn it on, one or the other. I have to double check about that, but that's something to think about. I thought that you just kind of push this in and out. That's how some of the, uh, it's, you know, the Sub-Zeros go. But no ice in there, unfortunately. Let me check another cabinet here. I'm still looking for some cups. No, there is no cups. How sad is that? How am I going to have coffee without a cup? I guess it's a good thing I brought my plastic rockets mug yeah i'll have to use that huh okay we have a wine fridge which is uh set up to 38 nice and clean no wine provided unfortunately even if i wanted to pay for it it would be nice to have something stocked here in the, in the pantry they don't know that i was not thirsty there is nothing here unfortunately Looks like there was some type of drawer here or a cover that is now missing because this is kind of ugly to see the P-trap situation. Looks like the hinges are, the door's missing. Just something to think about. But sadly, no cups, no plates. Um, I guess maybe you would have some kind of service and they would bring that in for you. But with the Keurig and the cake cups, I'm kind of excited. I want to have a coffee, but uh, I'm sure I'll figure it out. I'll use my own. <laughs> and trust me, that's not going to ruin my night. I'm still going to have a great time. Let's uh, head out of the sitting room over here into. Oh, looks like a dining room. Feels like a dining room. Feels like I need to sit here and have my coffee. What do you think? Or maybe I'll sit in front of the piano. Oh yeah, there's a piano. Can you imagine? This uh, table is a bit bruised. A little kind of beat up. You can kind of see some scuff marks on it. But uh, still a beautiful table. Loving this room. The carpet looks uh, nice and clean. A little bit of crumbs uh, kind of next to... Looks like right in the corners here. So it looks like they did vacuum. But... You know, some crumbs, some rice, stuff like that. They didn't get right around the corners there. But in general, it looks very clean, which is very nice. I appreciate that. We have our beautiful light fixture here. This isn't dust, is it? No, it's just some nicks, scratches. Again, the table's a little bit beat up. There is a little bit of cut marks here. You can kind of see that. That could probably be cleaned a little bit better. 
nice artwork here. Again, forgive me if I don't know if that's New York. Don't think it is. Doesn't feel like New York, but I wish that it was. I just feel like New York pictures would be great here. Uh, Grand Central stuff, because I'm in Grand Central Terminal. This looks like I'm some kind of staining again. I'm just going back to the table. You can kind of see it. I'd probably replace this table in such a beautiful suite. Got another nice picture here. Now I know for certain that's not New York. What do you think? Definitely not. This is interesting, these two tables next to each other like that, right in front of one. I don't know if they meant to have them both here like this. And this is a huge, ugly scratch. Again, the furniture is kind of beat up, a little worn. I'm not sure what I would do with this chair here. I don't know if I'd be sitting on that chair at that table. I find that a bit kind of high, but maybe I'm just being crazy. I don't know. And again, kind of beat up the furniture here. A little bit worn. I do like the curtains. They're nice. Looks like some little sheen here. The, uh, the shades in the back do feel Oh, cheap to me, these ones here. I think you could have some better veneer up there. And of course, I would probably like some controls for the curtains that I don't see on the walls. I'm thinking back to the wonderful Bellagio video. If you haven't seen the Bellagio penthouse, go check that out. But, you know, when you feel lazy, you want to just hit a couple of buttons, close all the curtains. Um, that's not an option with this. I understand the hotel is a little bit more older, so you may not find that. Another sitting area here, which is quite beautiful. Love the mid-century furniture. This is great. Got, uh, looks like, oh, just a little torn here. But I think overall, fabric feels nice. Feels comfy. Um, this furniture looks like it's been cleaned recently, which is nice. Doesn't feel as uh, worn out as that dining table. That dining table has seen a couple of meals, which is great. I love that. Then if we turn here, you get your huge piano and uh, another living room, as you can see. This is uh, another one of those tables here. Oh, there's some feet on it. Again, kind of bruised, beat up right in here. And I'm trying to look like if it's feet or something. Maybe it's just a, oh, here we go. It looks like there's some feet underneath that the table might expand or something. I'm not actually quite sure what that table does. I'm ignorant on that, I apologize. But it looks nice. This is our beautiful piano here. Got a little bit of scratches and scriffs looks like some more cup stains right there beautiful artwork we sit down here again just i think this is dirt right in here probably used to be cleaned this looks beautiful i don't play piano i would love to i always promised myself i would learn but i still haven't yet i know it's sad I feel like hiring someone to come play in here right now. <laughs> do they have a free piano player with the room? What do you think? Nice stool to, or piano bench, I think they call it, to sit on. You got uh, outlets everywhere for days. I don't even know what I would do with this many outlets. I guess charge everything for me, right? Be kind of nice. So nice uh, couch to sit at, relax. Listen to the piano being played. I'm not sure what the point of this plastic is here on the couch. This looks a little bit funky. I don't know what that's doing there. This uh, looks like an air filter. That's nice to kind of purify the air a little bit. And of course, some more artwork. We could call that New York, right? What do you think? That could be anywhere. So. Here we are, finishing off the tour, the penthouse suite at the Hyatt Grand Central, New York City. 
with the piano, with the dining room, huge corridor. Forgive me if I don't have all the full stats. I'm gonna get them for you. How big this suite actually is. And uh, I'll put them in the video as I post it. And I'm walking over here, I forgot to sell the room. I'm like, oh my God, what's this room? Looks like another closet off of the hallway. Pretty huge too. So, I think that just about does it. We have two sitting rooms, so I guess, let's call it two living rooms and another seating area over here. So we have that seating area, the two living rooms, the dining room, the kitchen, and of course the primary bedroom. The half bath, the full bath, and oh my God, a good time. Yeah.